All right, we're out here in the Oregon wilderness uh, doing a little camping and some molding of some real rock. We've chosen a location right along the river so that we can, uh, uh, what do you say, use some water to wash the rocks. One of the things we do is we clean the rocks prior to actually molding. I've assembled a few things here that we were going to need and really it's just a matter of about two boxes worth of material. Uh, one of the first things that we're bringing is some brushes. You know, a good stiff brush, kind of a fox tail, and then a scrub brush, which is hard nylon bristles along with some little bristles on the top so that we can actually clean the rock good. In addition, because we have one of these little uh, cups, we can actually, by choosing the rock that's near the river, we can wash the rock off and then we'll let it dry. But those are kind of a key things to have along is just something to clean the rock with. The other thing I brought was a can of sealer which I've diluted already. That acrylic sealer carried in the xylene based solvent I've diluted two to one and I put it in the can of xylene just for easy transport because the other can is a five gallon bucket. What I'm going to do next after I take this sealer I'm going to pour it into this squirt bottle and then I'll just squirt the sealer on and then afterwards, as soon as I get that on, I'm going to paint brush it in just to make sure I get a dispersal of that material. And I'll seal the rock two times. Now mind you, I've cleaned it. It's dry at that point. You got to let it sit in the sun for a bit. And then we can seal it. This sealer on a hot day like today, 5, 10, 15 minutes, the first coat's done. Then I'm going to spray it again. We're going to have that dry in about 15 minutes at the most. And then I have brought another squirt bottle with uh, the one gallon of mold release. Again, I'll pour this mold release in here, squirt it on, then I'll take my, uh, my paint brush just to disperse it around the rock real good. I'll put two good coats of this on. So now I've got my rock cleaned, sealed, and then mold release. And the mold release is going to take about 10 to 20 minutes to dry. It must be dry before we proceed. Some of the other items I brought uh, was these one dollar store uh, paint brushes. Now I've cut this one. I don't know if you can see the difference there. This is too long of a bristle. It's too soft. By cutting it, it becomes perfect for putting on the molding rubber. And when we first put it on, we really put it on thin and try and get it into the definition. Don't just glob it on because you may uh, have an air spot where you bridge over the actual rock piece and all you're getting is air as a mold as opposed to the rock texture. So again, we've cut these real short. And I brought about 20 of these with me is about what I'll need. Now when we go to mix the mold rubber, I've brought along some of these mixing tubs that will actually put part A and part B into. And this is what a, uh, a one quart measuring, this is perfect. I'm one individual going to be doing this, so I'm only going to be mixing up eight ounces of part A and eight ounces of part B. So I got 16 ounces and I'm going to have to move because that'll kick on me and I might not be able to use it all. So now as far as the molding rubber, obviously a guy will bring as much rubber as needed to cover the specimen that he's after. In my particular case, I brought along two of the five gallon kits, or I'm sorry, two of the one gallon kits of the Brush On 40 from Smooth On. And that information's in your tech manual. But uh, these are perfect for toting down to the river. They're not really heavy and big. And each one of these combined will make obviously two gallons of material. That's going to cover me uh, on average from uh, say 12 square feet to 18, 20, depending on the, the, the coarseness or the, the, the definition of the rock. If it's a real mountainous rock, then you're going to get less square footage. But I brought along two. So we're going to make two bigger blankets, like about a four by four uh, rock mold. What I'm after is some sheer panel type of cliff rocks that we're going to take back and mold. So that's the molding rubber. We'll put that on after we've sealed it. Usually I'm going to do it in three coats. The first coat's real thin, capturing the definition. Then I'll right away back that with a, a good heavy coat and then one more heavy coat and we should have it ready for the hard mold. And in my case, if you've watched my DVDs, you've known that I prefer the cementitious hard mold, which is fiber and the that's how I make my hard molds back of the shop. Today what I did was I brought out this long strand uh, fiberglass from the auto parts store and it has the catalyst with it. And again, the reason I've chosen that here is to expedite the hard molding. If I use the cementitious way, I'd have to wait till tomorrow morning to demold. I need to leave it sit for 24 hours where this fiberglass I'll be doing in about 15 minutes after I've actually placed it. You'll see me actually put the fiberglass on the, on the rubber, which is dry, 
and then I'll go ahead and peel the hard mold off and the rubber mold within about 15 minutes applying this fiberglass.